I got home from a trip I was on, uh, and the following night went to a party with Jay where I ran into Rob Reiner. I was very jet lagged. So he said to me, did you hear what's happening at the Beverly Hills Hotel? And uh, I said no, and he told me what was going on and that people were pulling their parties and, and so on. And I said, oh wow, that's, that's amazing. Walked off, and then about a minute later when my jet lag subsided, I realized, oh my gosh, the feminist majority, the organization I sit on the board of, uh, is having a fundraiser there we, um, in a week. And uh, so, of course, we pulled our, our fundraiser from the hotel and through an incredible uh, combination of luck and kindness from friends, we were able to find another venue for it in time. And, uh, and that's how I found out. And uh, we, you know, the word just spreads like wildfire in this community anyway. Um, and uh, so we decided to throw up a, a, a kind of a strike right. and protest now, in, in the park right across from the Beverly Hills Hotel. Oh, is that where that, okay, yeah, I know where that is. Now, yeah. we talked, now the, the hotel is actually owned by a group called the Dorchester Collection, and the CEO uh, spoke to CNN today and said, look, uh, we appreciate what you're saying, your, your message, but the Sultan has $20 billion. This is not going to put a dent in him, and, and who you might really be hurting uh, are the folks on the wait staff or the front desk who may agree with you, but you know, just want a job. What would you say to that? Well, I, I absolutely feel terrible about the circumstance uh, of these people. Um, you know, I never had any money till I was in my 30s. I, uh, before that, I was broke, happy, but broke. And, uh, and I know what it is to worry about the rent and, and payments on things and so forth. And I feel very badly, but this is the only way that we can reach the Sultan, and this is a huge human rights issue. As hard as it is, perhaps, on the hotels that are being uh, uh, shunned, it's a little bit harder to be executed in a public square and stoned to death because you're, uh, you're gay or uh, sentenced to a uh, hundred lashes because uh, as a woman you are accused of adultery and by the way rape is adultery there uh, it doesn't matter what the circumstances are that the where the woman was perhaps coerced or violently forced to uh, be with another man they're not interested in that that's it for you and uh, these are a lot more serious issues, right. and I I don't you know I, I I doubt that this is going to go on and on uh, uh, as a situation. Either the Sultan will decide that the hotel is too much of a nuisance and he'll divest himself, or uh, or perhaps he doesn't want to be an international pariah and he will think again. I I have to say to you. You at CNN, all you people that are reporting the news, I have a big question as to why the Sultan of Brunei suddenly out of the blue decided to do this because this is not his history as a person. Right. He says so it has to, he says he's, up? <laughs> he's honoring the 30 year anniversary of independence from Britain. Uh, Strange way to celebrate uh, an anniversary. <laughs> yeah, uh, usually you buy some crystal and, 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 and set off some fireworks. Your, your husband, I